Hi folks, as you know, Sony announced the A9 III this week. It's surely a game-changing camera, but like with any camera, there are some possible limitations and things that might not work as well as expected. And in this video, I wanted to share three possible limitations of the A9 III that people are discussing around and starting to test. The first one has to do with the image quality. As you know, the base ISO of the A93 is 250, which kind of sounds like that the image quality will not be as high as on the, for example, A92. So people were investigating about this. I saw a mixed review about this, like for example, Petapixel and others didn't notice any problems at all in terms of dynamic range or image quality, while the French website Phototrend had the impression that the A93 had nearly one stop worse noise handling, which means that the ISO 1000 images on the A93 look like 2000 ISO images on the 2, so the previous generation. But he also said this was just an impression not based on testing. You also have to consider that there is no final firmware here for the camera, so it's still a, a beta pre-production camera. The camera will be released only late February, so there's still some development, some features that have to be added to the A93. So um, it's just, for now, there's nothing confirmed, but it's surely there is something we have to uh, investigate. And probably it's uh, Sony itself that kicked that um, discussion by adding 250 ISO as base ISO. There's of course an extended version uh, for the ISO to 125, so you can shoot at 125, but still, I think the A93 image quality will be uh, nearly as good as the A92, and for sports photographer, that will be super good enough. I can see that Global Shutter gives so many advantages to the professional sports photographers, they really will not care if there's some kind of minor difference that you will barely notice. The second issue of the A93 has been mentioned by the photographer and it has to do with the human AI tracking. Apparently the human AI tracking works better on white people than on uh, black people. This is something Sony has to fix, uh, Nikon did fix it. They have to make sure that everything works for every kind of person. Uh, so uh, call to Sony to be aware of that problem and to fix it as up. And uh, yeah, the photographer also mentions another kind of, um, not issue, but they say like that while the Sony colors are, have been improved, they're still not on top notch with Leica, Fuji and Canon. That's for me a bit of a minor issue. I think they are super close first and second, you can always edit your images. Of course, it would be nice if the image comes always out perfect so that you don't have to spend some time on editing. The third issue has to do with the CF Express cards. The CF Express card from type A allows Sony to have a more compact body. Sony explained in an interview with Petapixel that they couldn't go for the CF Express Type B card because they would have to make the camera much bigger. That's what they said, so they prefer to stick with CF Express Type A card. Um, the probably the one issue that is more uh, important is that uh, Sony A93 doesn't support the new 4.0. It would have been nice to add this to the A93 because it would have allowed to uh, double the speed the writing speed, so if you would have a new CF Express Type A card with 4.0 standard, you would get a clear advantage. This didn't make it into A93, and Petapixel says um, Sony should have known that that standard was announced in August, uh, and Sony should have known about this and made it possible to implement it. But here I have to sort of take position for Sony, because to support the 4.0 standard, you this isn't a software issue, you need real hardware updates. And the A93 development started at least two years ago when it wasn't sure when the standard would be announced. There was no chance for them to one year ago already or two years ago already plan for the 4.0 standard, not knowing when it would be announced. But I can see that in future, maybe starting from late 2024 and so, um, CF Express Type A card 4.0 will be supported on Sony cameras, maybe on the A12. So those were the three, let's say, limitations of the A93 that currently people are talking about. And uh, that's normal. Every camera has trade-offs. To you gain something with the new technology, but of course, uh, you you there are some limitations. Particularly, this is the first time we have a global shot on a hybrid camera, so you can't expect this 
to uh, be 100% perfect. It's a technology that will improve in time. Um, I still um, think this is a game-changing camera more than the people think, even if you are just a photography shooter, like I told you in my previous video. I keep having distorted images because of the electronic shutter and the rolling shutter. Uh, I keep having issues with um, flickering in neon on the neon light when I record a video and uh, just having no more of an issue with that. For me, it would be very nice. So I hope there will be, like in future, A7R 6 with um, 60 megapixel and global shutter and by that time probably global shutter even um, will be improved so much that even that supposed slight decrease in image quality, slight less dynamic range maybe uh, or a bit more noise will be solved about that I'm sure. Um, so that was my quick opinion about some of the limitations and um, I first of all I hope you will like this video to have a YouTube algorithm, subscribe to the channel for the future rumors that are about to come because you know Sony will have one more high-end camera coming in pretty soon, like in January, February, but probably in January, so will be again a very exciting rumor time. See you soon, folks.